In the last video, we completed the Great Brain Robbery and unlocked the Barrel Chest Anchor. We also did a couple of trips to the Dagonoth Kings, trying to get a Berserker or a Warrior Ring, and sadly walked away with a Dragon Axe. After that, I made another failed attempt at unlocking a Fire Cape, and so we shifted our focus on to Slayer. Alright, it has been a minute since I've been on this account, but I think we're going to pick up right where we left off, and I do believe I'm going to block this Bronze Dragon's task. It's 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 really just not feasible. Um, I think it would be a detriment to the progress of this account to keep these active for right now, uh, and the 100 points is probably worth it. So there we go. We join Turoth on the list. I've only got one more block space available for right now. Uh, so Konar, give me something I don't want to block. Rimhaven Dungeon. I think there's a safe spot there. If not, well, we're going to be flicking for a while. So in order to get down into the Brimhaven Dungeon, you do need uh, a woodcutting axe. So using that as my motivation to get the one level I need to use my dragon axe here. That way I no longer have to keep buying a steel axe. And there it is, 61 woodcutting. All right, that's another task down. Konar, give us another good one. That's easy enough. Anku. Okay, and Brimstone Key. More coal. Oh, whatever. At least we've got plenty now. All right, just using up the uh, insold heads that I got, and there is 55 prayer. Ah, I can now wield a spirit shield. All righty, another task down. Konar, how about a new one? Trolls on Death Plateau. Ew, eh, that's okay, though. Uh, but also another brimstone key. No, I mean, I guess that's good money, maybe? What are these elk for? Only 150 each. I mean, maybe I could sell them to a shop for more. There's 61 Slayer, and there's 69 Strength. Yeah, all right, that's another boring task done. Just coming away with a lot of head. Now, Konar, how about some more? Fire Giants in the Waterfall Dungeon? That's actually a really good one, because I can just sit there and AFK range or mage it if I really want to. I think since I've been making a lot of trips with Insold Heads up here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just spend the 80k to unlock this uh, fairy ring. I think it's uh, CIS is the code. Right now, what I've been doing to get here is I've been home tellying down to Hosidius and basically just walking all the way up here and stopping by the store to get some uh, runes along the way. But this will probably speed up that process for me because I can just teleport here. Especially if I've got the runes already on me, it makes things a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead and mirror 80,000k. Okay, there you go. And boom. New active fairy ring, thank you very much. And there is 70 strength. I think with that I'm going to start to work on my attack. I want to get base 70s for my uh, combat stats, and then we may look at doing Seracnus again, but got to get these up first. All right, this is going to be the big point 10 in a row task. Give me something good. Very beautiful. Thank you, Konar. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Slayer. I want to get these uh, coal and iron ore out of my inventory. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn them into bars here in Alcarid, and then I'm just going to run over to the Giant's Foundry and uh, fill that up and, and do a game of Giant's Foundry whenever that gets full. We are back on the smithing grind, and there is 58 smithing. <coughs> and there's 59. And that's going to be 60 smithing. We can now make... Uh, Mithril battle, battle Axes and Dragon Square Shields. I don't think I can use a Dragon Square Shield. Would be pretty neat, but oh well. Alright, that might have been my last game there. That's another 5,000 XP. Uh, no thank you, and 61 smithing. Alright, there we go. That was the last one. No commission, please. Uh, looks like we're finishing with 180k coins. That's pretty good for... Uh, I don't even remember how many ore we started with, but hey, free money is free money. Opting to go with melee here for this task, just because I want to start to get my stats up towards base 70, and there is 62 Slayer. Anybody else just missed that attack level, or is that me? Uh, well, anyway, that's 61 attack. And there is the ever-sneaky hit points level, that's 73 hit points. Alright, we finished up our task, going through our insult heads, and there is 62 attack. I only got one left, so I don't think... Yeah, definitely not going to get a prayer level here, but we will get awfully close. All right, first step, brimstone key, money. All right, second step, new task. Ugh, Bloodveld in the God Wars dungeon. Okay, let me think about that. I probably am going to skip this, but what are we on? Eight tasks in a row. We got 122 points. We're so close to that 10 in a row. I'm just going to skip it. How about a new one? 
Trolls in the Troll Stronghold. Kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll do it. Just finished up my Trolls task. Coming over here to get rid of some of the insult heads, and there's 56 prayer. Okay, Konar, 10th task in a row. Give me something good. <laughs> there's 65 attack. All right, there's our 10th task done. Two brimstone keys to open here. Ugh. Uh, would you stop with the coal? Oh, whatever. How about a new task? No, uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go Turiel. Skip that one. Troll south of Mount Kitamorto. Where is that? Uh, down here. That's not very easy to get to. Well, I figure now is as good a time as any to uh, unlock the mountain guide here. If I talk to him, this will unlock a. Uh, fast travel basically from here all the way to over here so that way I just have to teleport to Shazian walk over here talk to this guy and I can skip this entire portion of the trip and just end up right back here it will be really useful until I eventually get the uh, Xerix talisman but uh, yeah so now I should be able to just right click travel and there we are he wasn't here before now he is and then we go back oh, there's 63 Slayer I look at my phone for two seconds and miss 66 attack. We're getting closer to 70. All right, well, I just got another task of Iron Dragons. I'm going to go ahead and block this. We've got a few extra points to spare here and only only one slot left, which isn't great, but we'll go ahead and block that one. Um, I don't want to keep getting more dragons. <sighs> Brimhaven. I mean, uh... That's that's gonna take me a week. And there is 75 magic. We can now cast Fire Wave. Ooh, and wield a Trident of the Seas. That would be pretty nice to get. Unfortunately, we're not anywhere close to Krakens. Taking a little bit of a break from Slayer here. That uh, Black Demon's task is absolute buns and not the good kind either. Uh, and we're gonna start working on one of the other goals that I really shouldn't have put off as long as I did, maybe. And that is to get 47 construction. At 47 construction, I unlock, under trophies, the Mounted Amulet of Glory. This is something, it's just a quality of life thing that's going to make getting around so much easier. And again, probably shouldn't have put it, up, put it off, but uh, the plan is to chop oak logs here by the sawmill operator, turn them into logs. Uh, I need to go get a hammer real quick, but then I will tell you to my house. Uh, use what I've got, probably just make two larders, and then telly back, rinse and repeat. I need 575 total logs, which is going to cost me almost uh, 144k coins. And while I've got the cash stack to do it, figure now's a good time to knock it out. There's 41, quick and easy first trip here. Mm, 42. And for those keeping score at home, there is 43 construction. That's 44 construction. Ooh, we can now build a chapel. Let me sit up for this one. Uh, chapel, 50k. Yeah, we got plenty of money for that, why not? And that's a nice little altar there. We can now restore our prayer at our house. Neat. And there's 46, one more to go. And boom, 47 construction. We can now mount an amulet of glory uh, as soon as I'm able to get one. Um, I do think I'm kind of on a roll with the construction here. I'm going to do the math, and if I have what I need to get to 50 construction, I'm just going to keep knocking that out because I really want a portal chamber. Um, otherwise, we're going to start to go get that uh, glory. There's 48. 49. All right, this should be the last one. There is 50 construction, and we can now build a portal chamber. Uh, there's one in particular, one teleporter that I really want, and that is the Koran teleport. Uh, but I'm gonna need more money for that, and we won't worry about that right now. First thing we gotta do, remove this larder and build another. First thing we gotta do is get our glory for the house here. Uh, and the easiest way I'm gonna be able to do that is to get my hunter up uh, to where I can catch dragon imblings at 83. Uh, and then just go hunt those and hope to get a glory as quickly as possible. Uh, that can be a painful process sometimes, but let's go, let's go get some nets. 
And this salamander should be 75 hunter. <laughs> this level is important not because I can now catch murring bats, uh, but because now I should be able to bare hand, um, not eclectics. Uh, I should be able to bare hand magpie implings now if we scroll down here. Yeah, 75 bare handed magpie implings. The number of times that I've just been walking around and seen a magpie impling and be like, man, I'm one hunter level off of being able to catch that. It's really annoying, but now that's just free money flying around. I was just visited by the magical Mr. Genie Man. He gave me a lamp, and that is now 47 Herblore. And we're slowly working our way towards 83, and that's 78 Hunter. Nothing exciting unlocked. Kind of sad. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. There was a magpie. There was a magpie. This is the first one I can catch without a net. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. There he is. Let's get him. This is exciting. Bare hands. Split bark gloves. I don't... I don't have my nature runes. Oh, no. That's okay. They can sit in my inventory. That was fun. Let's get back to some hunter. Hey, 79 hunter. Another level where I don't get jack shit. Saw another magpie and I saw another magpie. I saw another magpie. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. And... Well, we're trying to get amulets, I guess. Those are the wrong ones. These are very exciting times here. Why are these exciting times? Because we like round things. I myself am very round and here is a very round 80 hunter. Uh, we can now catch crystal implings eventually whenever I get into Priftinus. 81. Only one more to go. This is killing me. I don't think I get anything for this one either. Unexciting. And that is my ticket out. 83. Okay, okay, okay. This is not a drill. We've got a dragon impling that I should be able to catch barring somebody hopping in like right here. Nice. All right, first dragon imp. Let's get this out of the way. Glories, please. I mean, that's money, I guess. That's that's money. I almost forgot to start recording. I was panicking so hard trying to get to this impling. Should be able to get it. I think it's stuck. I go here. Boom. All right. Suspense is building. Give me some glories. Dragon Longsword, dang, oh, how badly I want to use that, but I can't, we have to alk it. Oh, that's still good money though, this is great. <clears throat> it's so far, like, I've been kind of casually collecting ninjas and magpies uh, uh, as I've been going, and I mean, the cash stack is thriving. We're going to be able to uh, build everything instantly. Okay, I literally just insta-world hopped and there was a dragon impling inside of me. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Another dr Come on, man. I don't want to... I, mean, I, just, I just want glories. Come on, baby. Number three. Number three. Ninja Implic first. Decent elk. All right. Warm up the Warm up the click. Give me glories. Or... Dragonstone amulets. Either or. Boom. Ah, I mean, well... The cash is nice. Please, don't go that way. No. No, 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 no. No, fuck off. No, dude. No, I hate that. Yes, 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 yes. No, I hate this place, dude. This person just... Okay, there is no shot. This is like, this is like three minutes later. There's nobody else here. I'm all alone. Just me and this dragon ambling. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get excited. We got... Oh, no, don't open that. Got a lot of implings here. Fuck the suspense. <clears throat> yes! Dragonstone amulets. Okay, and it is 68. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 68 magic to enchant those. I want to say the drop rate is like 1 in 17 or something for the dragon am amulets. I, I could be completely wrong. I'm pulling that out of my ass. Okay, here we go. Unnote those. Go ahead and level 5 enchant. We've got us a glory. You know, am I still eternally sad that I didn't get a berserker ring or a warrior ring? Yes. But are we finding the small things in life that make this dragon axe worth it? Sure. 
Gonna grab uh, 12 teak planks here. That'll get us the uh, the mounted glory as well as uh, three portal frames made, and don't have to make any trips back to the uh, lumber lumber dude sawmill guy. All right, first order of business. Let's get rid of this room. <clears throat> okay, yeah, mounted emu amulet of glory uh, goes into the quest hall, so we will build that. Guild trophy space, yeah, that one, so that works. We'll build it that way. And then we build trophy space, amulet of glory, there we go. Infinite teleports. Uh, down here we will build our portal chamber, and then boop, boop, doo, doo, one teak portal, two teak portals, and three teak portals. All right, and then the last thing we need is the centerpiece. Uh, I need two limestone bricks. I think I can go get that from the guy in Keldegrim. Uh, and then just the runes that I actually want to put in the portals. I know what I'm going to do with one. i got to think about the other two. Okay, the cheeks were clenched, but we made it out here. Uh, I decided, I decided while I was on my way over here, we're building, we're, we're only going to use two of the portals for right now. Uh, the first one I'm going to make uh, go to core end. And then the other one that we're going to make is the Carol teleport to Canifis. Build the portal chamber and then wreck the portal. First one to Carol. Yeah. And then direct the second one. There you go. To core end castle. Beautiful. Now we are so mobile now. We're so mobile. We have quick access to an altar. Edgeville, Karamja, Draenor. Oh, this is this is the leaping point to greater things for this account. And now I get to go sit my ass back at Black Demons for another like three hours. Now getting back into our uh, Black Demon task, and that is 67 attack. All right, well, I've been killing Black Demons for so long, I've actually gotten physically sick in real life. Uh, let's just open this chest. Maybe it'll make me feel better. It really doesn't. It's not the end of the world, though. Uh, how about a new task? One that will make me feel better. That one's great. Oh, if 64 Slayer doesn't warm your heart, I don't know what does. We do not lock anything. My heart is now cold and empty again. And there's 68 attack. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck! I'm still sick. Alright, talking's a little difficult for me right now. And I don't know when I hit 85 combat, but I did. So I think we're switching to Neve for a little bit. And there is 65 Slayer. <clears throat> it's getting a little better from being sick here, but that unlocks Dust Devils. So I do have an idea that I want to try that might actually allow me to kill them. All right, let's try this again. Ooh, okay, interesting. Now we can get to test our science. All right, so the problem with me and Dust Devils is that in order to kill them, you need to wear either a face mask or uh, a Slayer Helm, and I, I don't have access to either of those with my account restrictions. However, I do have access to this gas mask, and I'm not entirely sure if it serves the same purpose uh, as a face mask would in this scenario. So what we're going to try is basically I'm going to whack this one dust devil. And if my stats don't start draining immediately, then fantastic. And if they do start draining immediately, then I need to run my booty cheeks out of here and uh, rethink how I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, let's see what happens, sir. Yep, there go my stats. Okay, well, we tried. It was an A for effort, I suppose. Okay. I guess if all else fails, this strategy could technically work. Dust Devils are a really good uh, monster for me to be able to kill, so I guess whatever method works, you know, gotta do what we gotta do. All right, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from Slayer, and I wanna work towards my next quest goal, and that is going to be Beneath Cursed Sands. And the way we're gonna wrap up this episode is we're gonna work on uh, some of the requirements that we need for that. And so in order to do Beneath Cursed Sands, we need to do Contact. And in order to do contact, we have to do it, 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 <clears throat> Ichthlaren's little helper. I think that's about right. Uh, and in order to do Ichthlaren's little helper, we need not a damn thing. We're ready to do that one. Uh, so I'll go work on the requirements for that or like items and whatever I need. Uh, and then the other good thing that we get from doing this is I'm like six quest points off of another block list. 
uh, uh, for my Slayer tasks. And then, so once I get to 200 quest points, th these couple of quests should get me there, I think. Uh, we will be able to block another another monster that we either can't do or, you know, just are so inconvenient that I don't want to do. The hardest thing about this game, it's always the quests with something you have to jump over. This is probably like the fifth or sixth time that I've tried to jump over. Let's see if I can do it this time. Please, put me out of my misery. I hate this game. The most annoying thing for sure is that I have to wait for my run to restore every single time I fail. Let it go almost all the way. Surely we make it across. There we go. All right, Mr. Priest, I did your jumping over the over the thing and saved the thing. I don't even know what just happened. Whatever. That's a clear little helper uh, completed. 4,500 thieving XP, 4,000 agility, 4,000 woodcutting, and an amulet of cat speak. Oh, I can just immediately start the contact quest. Sure. Okay, sure. Just immediately start contact. Oh, and we're in a cutscene. I don't know why, but I feel like I remember this being a lot scarier. Especially as a UIM. Oh, oh well. There's a scarab dead. And there is contact complete. We get 7k thieving XP, the Karis, uh, a combat lamp, which is going to give me two things of 7k XP in my combat skills, and access to the Sofidim Bank, but I can't actually use it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do, let's see, what do we want? Attack strength, defense, hit points. I think I'm going to go with range just because it'll get me a level and I'm greedy. Yeah, it won't get me a level in anything else. So we'll go with ranged. 7k there. Do it one more time. Another wish. 7 more. 1,000. And there is 73 ranged. Very nice. So now we are ready to do well, I guess we're not ready to do. We have everything we need to do quest-wise uh, for Beneath Cursed Sand. Uh, now we just need 55 fire making and 55 crafting. So that's, what, five more fire making levels. That shouldn't be too terrible. Uh, and three more crafting levels. I'll have to see what uh, how I'm going to go about doing that. But we will save that for another time. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and we will get back to uh, getting those requirements in the next one.